What's up guys, Coach Jesse Minchin with GetHandles.com. Today I got three non-crossover moves to help you break ankles. Okay, so I wanted to give you kind of three unique moves that are kind of like combo moves that you probably haven't done before or tried before. And if you have, I'm gonna give you some pointers to take the next level. So the very first one is gonna be basically you're gonna come up to your defender. You might have seen Isaiah Thomas do this before. He'll come up to his defender, kind of turn back and lean back, actually he's gonna either like spin or hesitate and come back or even maybe come back and change directions this way, okay? You can kind of set it up a bunch of different ways just by kind of leaning back onto this back leg and turning back a little bit. But from there, what you're gonna do is explode to try to get past your defender, okay? Now that alone could be enough to get you to break some ankles, but we're gonna go into something a, a layer deeper to give you another option. So that's like one move you could do right there and that might be enough to just blow by your defender, even break their ankles if they turn back this way too much. But what you can do to go next level is come from here and go into a dead stop. Because what's gonna happen is, what, what you wanna do with this is, when you get to this hesitation here, where you kinda lean back, you wanna try to get your foot about even with the defender's foot on the side that you're trying to beat him on, okay? If you can do that, and, and get them to either freeze up or move this way, you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to get past them. So if you get past this foot, now they're gonna be scrambling to recover to try to get in front of you. So they're gonna come flying this way. And then if you go into a dead stop, and even maybe add a little bit of a pullback or a step back into that, you're gonna get a lot of defenders to go flying. And it's all basically just using regular dribbles and just bringing your footwork in. So coming in, being back, coming in, stop. Two or three dribbles and you can get your defender to go flying, break some ankles, all that stuff. Okay, now the next one, again, is a great move to create space, separation, and blow by your defender, and of course, also break some ankles. What we're gonna do for this one is kind of a variation on the inside out into a step back. So, normally on your inside out, you're gonna kinda come like this and step this way, right? So hand comes from outside of the ball, comes over the top, opposite foot steps out, and then you pull the ball back out to this side. What we're gonna do for this one is kinda change that angle a little bit. So we're gonna take, everything the setup wise is gonna be pretty much the same. You're gonna step at an angle, kinda coming forward, like you're gonna try to beat your defender coming this way and then hand comes over the top of the ball. But from there, you're gonna change the angle of your hand. So you don't want it more here to push it forward. We want the palm facing more this way because we're gonna pull it back into a step back. So we're gonna come here into a step back. That might be enough to get your defender to, to, to break their ankles because the hardest direction change for them to make is going from back to forward. And if you can get them to go back again, which is the next part of this, then you really have a good chance of breaking their ankles, especially if you cover ground on these. So if you do them quick and then cover ground, and then from there, the last thing is you could blow by your defender. Now, you have to read them. If you have the space to get the shot off, just take the shot. But a lot of times, you'll get them to go flying, and then when you come back here, if you're a good shooter, and that's kind of a prerequisite for this working well, but if you're a good shooter, they're gonna jump out on you. And when they do that, you can blow by them. And again, they're gonna have to make that direction change coming like back, forward, back, forward. That's a tough direction change to make. And if you get them moving quickly trying to do that, that's where you can get a lot of defenders' butts to go to the floor. One more key tip to focus on is when you step out, I like to land so both feet on that step back land at the same time. So that kind of gives you that option. If they do close out to this side too much, you can go into a crossover. But again, we're trying to make this non-crossover moves to break ankles. So you're gonna come here, back with both feet, and then explode forward. Okay, and then the third and final one is kind of a crossover in a way, so it's kind of cheating, but it's not uh, technically a crossover. It's gonna be a one hand mini V, okay? So you're gonna act like you're gonna cross over. Um, and you can use this in a variety of ways. You can use it um, coming here. And basically all it's gonna be is, kinda like on the inside out, you wanna kinda step or either lean into the direction that you're gonna cross over. You're gonna come like that. Hand comes over the top of the ball, pulls it back. Now you can do this a couple different ways. You could do it more as a setup to be, act like you're gonna cross over and kill it real low. Now that's the key meet the basketball as it's coming back up real down low with the hand in, in this overhand position and then push it back out right away, okay? Because it'll throw your defender's timing off and, and hit them with something unexpected because they're gonna expect the ball to end up here and then it comes over here, okay? And a key on that is don't leave this hand back here because that's not gonna sell the fake as well, okay? So you wanna keep this hand here like it's about to catch the basketball. That'll help take that fake a little more next level and point your eyes in that direction. So. And, and that's for all these, you know, whichever direction you're faking, make sure your eyes look that way. Past that though, another way you can use this that I've seen guys break ankles is with just using low combo dribbles with these little mini Vs. And you could throw it into the mix for those sorts of things and sometimes you'll get defenders reaching. And when they start to reach in, then you can try to blow by them. And a lot of times when they're leaning forward, and again, try to go back from that, it's tough for them to make that direction change. 
So all right, let's take a look at all three of these moves full speed from some different angles. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button for me. Let's try to get this video to a thousand likes. Also leave a comment down below. Let me know what else you want to see from the channel. I get all my ideas from the comments down below. And click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad to catch those videos the second they come out. Now if you want an actual crossover that'll break ankles, make sure you click this link right here. That's a $3 workout called the Quick Cross Workout. It only takes five minutes to do and it'll help improve that crossover pretty much instantly. Also make sure you check out this video. You'll probably like that one as well. And check out this playlist. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and break some ankles today.